Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun and today I am here to talk about something that I haven't seen anyone talking about. Now, um, right now during this whole quarantine thing, ra random, you know, conversations are king. And, you know, obviously between Marvel and Star Wars, they rule the conversation. And I've made a lot of videos, I've made a few videos of just talking about things in general from, you know, how how time travel works in the MCU, from things of that nature, to obviously the Snyder Cut thing happening soon. But I hear, I'm here to talk about something that I personally don't hear enough people talk about or give credit to. Now, as far back as I would say Iron Man 1, one of the big complaints in the MCU has been that the that a lot of the finales, not so much lately, they haven't really used the whole sky like like they people still make a joke about the sky beam thing, but when you really but in actuality there hasn't been a sky beam in the MCU since the Avengers movie. So it's kind of ironic. There hasn't been a sky beam in the MCU since the Avengers movie. So it's kind of ironic that that joke that a uh, joke that, that that people still use that joke to describe the third act of Avengers movies but you know still whatever you know it is what it is but um and like like that's been a big complaint about superhero movies in general is the bloated third act though you know the one in wonder woman was bit the one in wonder woman was very bad and the one admittedly in black panther was that wasn't wasn't that great either i always gave the black panther one a little bit of slack because i thought the actual battle with the um dormalaje Versus the Border Tribe was actually fun and actually good with, you know, with um, Baku showing up and doing his thing. I just thought that the fight scene between T'Challa and um, Killmonger, the CGI was just not there. And they probably, they probably should have just gone with an actual more them fighting each other without, without the suits. They probably should have went with that to just have them choreograph that inside the tunnel. I think that probably would have been the best option with that. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. The the um the um third act of that movie wasn't that great. Um, uh, but other than that though, I think Marvel has been pretty creative with their third acts. They've been pretty creative with their third act. The third act in Iron Man I think is very underrated because of the all the, mach the all the robots and him jumping into the individual suits and him going through the suits and the different suits that do different things. And I think that was well thought out. Obviously, the third act in Guardians of the Galaxy was well th was I thought was well thought out. I don't think it was like the most fantastic third act, but it was well thought out and, and it made all the sense for the movie. But the movie, I say all this to get to this. I believe that Doctor Strange has one of the greatest third acts in a comic book movie ever. It's one of the most underrated third acts. And I remember when the movie came out, people were talking about this third act because it was a subversion. First of all, most of the third acts in most superhero movies is destruction all around them. You know, is this is so much destruction. It's like Man of Steel. Doctor Strange's third act is the anti-Man of Steel third act. Like Doctor Strange, like the fact of the matter is that time that it's the third act and in the Doctor Strange third act, the final battle is taking place on the streets of I believe Hong Kong and he's reversing time while he's fighting forward while things are being recreated and rebuilt it's the reverse it's like a reverse third act he fly he doesn't like he flies into the beam he flies into the big blue on um, the sky he flies into the sky beam there's not just a sky beam going up he flies into the sky beam and he doesn't beat the villain by punching him. He doesn't beat the villain by shooting a lightning bolt out of his fucking, a random ass lightning bolt out of his chest, aka Wonder Woman. He beats the villain by using not only his wit, but the lesson that the movie was trying to teach him. One, that life isn't always about you. Two, you must you must be willing to sacrifice. He's used to pain. And, what? well, mostly the whole life isn't all about you. And it uses something that was set up earlier in the movie, which is the concept our Mamu lives in a realm without time, life everlasting. So, a.k.a., he doesn't understand what time is. So when you put him in this time loop, he wouldn't know what to do. It was one of the most creative third acts I had ever seen in a comic book movie. I can't think of, name another comic book movie that had a third act like that, that was both epic, CGI work was great, the choreography was great, it was climactic, it was epic, he overcame unbelievable odds by using the lesson that he was taught throughout, that he was trying to get taught throughout the course of the movie, he, and he did not overpower the villain. He didn't punch the villain, he didn't overpower the villain, he simply, he almost sort of annoyed the villain until the villain gave up. Like, like I said, like, it was a very well thought, it was a, it's one of the most creative third acts I had ever seen. And I don't think people really talk about it enough. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to Marvel, in general, like, 
Marvel has done so much, and they've done so much. They've been so successful. Endgame, the highest grossing movie of all time. They have two. They have two movies in the two billion dollar club. There's only four. <laughs> and then there's only five, and they have two of them. So you know, it's really in all the Avengers movies I've made over a billion dollars. It's really hard. Like Marvel has had so much success that you know people nowadays, especially right now, love to focus on what they don't do right. And, you know, they kind of, what they don't do right. And, you know, that's mostly what people talk about now is they, oh, they fucked this character up. Or they did this character wrong. Or they did this bad. They fucked up the Hulk. Or all this other stuff. But I, but the thing is, I know when, I, when when I do your rewatch, obviously, I'm sitting at home. A lot of people are sitting at home. So all you can really do is rewatch. I got Disney Plus. So, you know, I'm just sitting here rewatching. And when I'm sitting here rewatching, it just, like, dawned on me. I'm just like, this is one of the most creative third acts in a superhero movie. Like, generally speaking, like, you didn't see that coming. You really did not see that coming you gotta ask yourself did you see that coming did you see him having to face Darmamu and doing that and then creating a meme Darmamu I've come to bargain like did you see that coming because you probably didn't and you probably didn't see a battle happening in the city where things are being recreated and people are moving backwards and you got you know food is in the air but it's going in the backwards reverse buildings are being reconstructed and they're using the buildings being reconstructed to you know hold off the people and Cars are being brought back to life, and like it's. I mean, cars are being or uncrashing. It was like it was crazy. It was a, it was an amazing third act. It was so epic. It was so classic. It was so good. Only overshadowed by another by an amazing scene before that, <laughs> when they're running through the mirror dimension. Doctor Strange in general was a very underrated movie in the MCU. I remember like rewatching it. I was just like, this is a very. I forgot how good this movie was. <laughs> I don't watch it. I'm like, man, this movie is really good. Like, 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 I, I don't get. Like, what do people beef with this movie again? I was like, I was just like, kind of wandering through my mind. Like, what? Like I said, really, I made this video just to talk about that third act because I really want to give a shout out to the Doctor Strange third act. I feel like no one talks about it enough. I feel like whenever I hear people talk about Marvel the MCU's third act problem or whatever it is, no one really talks about it enough. Even Ant Man and the Wasp is the um. Even Ant-Man and the Wasp third act wasn't a prototypical third act. It was a car chase. The, the third act was a car chase. It was a car chase of hot potato. It was a hot potato car chase. I mean, even that's different. Even that's a different third act than most movie than most movies are. So, like, like I said, I, I think some some people give Marvel a little a little more, you know, rough, you know, go when it comes to the third act. But uh, in Thor Ragnarok, the third act was basically. Let was there basically to let that happen. <laughs> the way Thor Ragnarok ended, did you see that coming? I didn't either. But I'm really here to talk about the Doctor Strange third act. Like I said, I thought it was beautifully done. I think it's one of the most underrated third acts in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and comic book in general. No one talks about it enough. And if you get the chance, when you go back, you should go watch Doctor Strange and tell me that third act isn't unique amongst the comic book movie genre. Talk, name another third act like that one with that concept with so many things happening, but like unique things you had never seen before, with multiple, th with, with time working in reverse, cars uncrashing, people undying, food coming back and coming back into a pot and buildings reconstructing themselves and whole buildings coming up and reconstructing themselves and the tower reconstructing themselves and them fighting in the middle of all this chaos, of all this stuff, reconstructing themselves and them using the reconstructions of all these things and things flying to fight off these people and then Doctor Strange flying into the beam to negotiate with the villain and nego with the and he negotiates with the villain to not destroy the earth and he didn't he didn't punch the villain he didn't beat the villain by he outwitted the villain how many superhero movies do you know end like that and i just wanted to get that out there for people Thank you guys for joining me on Comic Game Movie Show. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Doctor Strange third act is as is as great as I think it is? Or do you th disagree with me? Maybe you've seen that in a bunch of superhero movies. I highly doubt it, but maybe you have, and you just, I'm just, I haven't seen those movies. So thank you guys for joining me on Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.